Hey guys, you are in the cut with slider cut. Today I'm taking you through a haircut on myself. Yes, this one I have done on myself. It's a full length video, because a few of you have asked me and said the same thing, that my videos are short and it's not really a full tutorial. So today I'm giving you a full length tutorial of me cutting my own hair, the technique I use and how I do it. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe, leave your comments underneath and let me know what you think of it. You are in the cut with slider cuts. So, starting off this haircut, I'm brushing my hair down because it's not that long to, to need a comb. And then I'm gonna reduce it to the desired level, which in this case is a number one going with the grain, which just simply means, or simply put, going in the direction that the hair is growing. I then move on to creating the line all around the head, which is a skin line because I'm doing a skin fade on myself. Where you put the line determines what type of fade you're going for. In this case, it's just a mid fade, mid skin fade. Not low, not high, just middle ground. I'm using a wall icon clipper to cut my hair and to create this line. I'll be then moving on as I'm doing right now to use my wall detailer because this clipper really gets it close to skin. So I'm just going over all the areas I've already skinned with my wall icon with the wall detailer. Always make sure to go around your ears. It's a rookie mistake, which I see a lot of people do when they cut their own hair. So guys, let's get into the fade. The first thing you should do when you're about to fade is create that invisible line. The invisible line is, for me right now, where the top of my head and the side of my head meet. The reason why I'm, I've, been cre I've created an, an invisible line is because I don't want to go above that line. So I say when I'm fading it and I'm taking the hair and I'm reducing the hair on the side of my hair, I've got that invisible line where I say I'm not going to go above that line. Because when you start going above that line, you start making it a different type of fade. A lot of times, it starts looking like a Mohican. I guess with how low my hair is now, it wouldn't look like a Mohican. It just wouldn't look right. So I'm going to keep taking my number one and going up to that invisible line. So the whole side will be a number one going against the grain. And I'm just going to keep taking it until I feel like all the hair has come off to be in a number one up until that line. So the next step, I'm going to take a 0.5 gauge, which is the green gauge. And like I had already done with the one, I'm just going to keep taking all of the hair on the side to a 0.5. The exact same thing. The only difference this time is one thing. Where my invisible line was, this is why that invisible line is so important. Where that invisible line was, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. So my first invisible line was where the top of my head and the side of my head met and now I'm going to reduce it and bring that line slightly lower so when I'm cutting I'm just not going up to that first line I hope that makes sense guys and then the next step it will be the same thing when I'm taking it lower when I take this gauge off it'll be exactly the same thing I'll be taking the side all the way down to a 0.5 with no gauge on it but that invisible line will be lower Watch guys, just watch. Are you watching guys? Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see how when I first started, when I was fading it and when I was bringing it down the hair, I was all the way at the top of the side and now I'm near the bottom. So I'm just gradually fading this out. So now I've got no gauge on my clipper. I'm just fading in that bottom line guys the way I'm doing it if you see 
that I keep touching something on the side of my clipper and basically that's just a lever that when it's at its highest is a traditional 0 0.5 and when it's at its lowest it's a zero so I'm just going through those levels which will be like I'm touching the edge with like a 0 0.2 0 0.3 just trying to fade out that line because obviously when it's skin it's zero and just above that I want it to be like a 0 0.1 you know 0 0.2 so it just creates a nice smooth fade and that line at the bottom disappears Then we move on to the next side guys where we are going to do exactly the same thing. You create your invisible line, you take your one and you reduce the side of the hair to the number one going against the grain but make sure you do not go above that invisible line. After that you lower your gauge to a 0.5 gauge, you create your next invisible line and then your open blade create your next invisible line. It's the exact same technique guys and it's the same technique even when you're doing the back so just watch. I hope you guys are still with me. So it's the same technique on the back guys, doing exactly the same thing. The only difference is, when you're fading the back of your head, it's a lot more tiring on the arms. Cause with one arm, you're holding the mirror up in the back of your head, at the back of your head, and with the other arm, you're fading it. And it's an awkward position, so it actually hurts the arms. So you know, get in the gym, or go do some push-ups, or something, strengthen those arms, cause it's tiring.
the shape up guys like always in my recommendations when you shape yourself up or shape anyone else up always stay on the edge on your first time around and when I mean your first time around when you're about to shape up someone shape yourself up when you're doing your first line just stay on the edge don't try and make it the sharpest don't try and make it the most accurate just stay on the edge and just get some type of shape to their hair and then when you're when you've done that then on your second time around look at it and think okay how can we make this sharper um, you know how can we make this straighter more even and all of those things but on your first round just keep it on the edge now with me I've obviously been shaping myself up for since I was about 14 years old um, so we're talking about 17 18 years so I can you know jump into the you know into you know just going for it straight away and important as well keep a mirror right in front of you if you're doing this for the first time I wouldn't recommend you holding a mirror but you know get a, a standing mirror that's right in front of you and that you know because it's hard to see so if you look at me I'm looking down like I'm looking right down it's because it's actually harder to see when you're shaping yourself up so just keep it on the edge and don't try and make it like you know perfect because what happens is especially when you're um, a beginner which I've experienced so many times as a beginner and so many times as a professional even like in current days where you you shape yourself up it's looking good and you're like you know what this looks good but then you keep picking at things and because you keep picking at things you keep going over it and then you end up messing yourself up you pull one side too high or something along those lines because you know you, you just kept on wanting to go over it so just get it to a good level guys and just leave it keep touching it remember that you are shaping up hair and you're not shaping up skin so you don't need to press hard because the clippers will cut the hair fine be gentle you will end up scarring yourself if you press down hard if you press down hard you will not get a sharper shape up when you finish shaping yourself up and you finish the haircut now this is the part which I say that you go over it so look around see the haircut look at the parts that need improving it's not to make it the most perfect haircut ever but it's like you know what I might have left some hair around the ear which I haven't but it's a rookie mistake to do so so I always like to go over around my ears just to make sure um, it could be the shape up needs touching a little bit it could be the fade this is just a stage when you just look over your haircut and you just touch it up and that's why I say when you're cutting your hair or anybody else's hair you don't have to get the haircut perfect before you move on or you know the, st the stages that you're at you don't need to have that perfect before you move on get it to a good standard because at the end you're going to go over it anyway so here's just me looking at it looking at little things and just going around you know then finish it off with a little bit of scissors work this just catches all of the stray hairs the hairs that are sticking up watching my video of me cutting my hair I hope this video has been helpful and beneficial to you please leave your comments underneath and let me know what you thought of it and before you leave don't forget to subscribe you have been in the cut with slider cuts